Right now in College Park, Maryland, a huge celebration for our hometown tennis star. Prince George's County is throwing Francis Tiafo a well-deserved welcome home party. Adam Longo joins us live from the Junior Tennis Champion Center. And Adam, Tiafo got to meet with some of his adoring fans, right? He did, and County Executive Angela also Brooks here in Prince George's County, who declared this day, this Friday, officially Francis Tiafo Day. He was out here on the center court at the Junior Tennis Champion Center. He took selfies with everybody who stood in line, signing autographs. He was here for a good three to four hours this afternoon. County Executive also Brooks, she said that not only does Francis Tiafo inspire everyone with his play, he inspires everyone with his character. It's been a week now since, of course, his whirlwind success in the U.S. Open, making it to the semifinals, the first American to do that in a long time. He, he prays on Prince George's County, saying it taught him how to be tough, a county, he said, filled with so many great people with potential. I asked how it felt to inspire the kids playing tennis here and who inspired him. Listen in. They can, you know, learn from me and ask me questions. I'm, you know, I'm an open book and I, I just, I just want to inspire that, that next generation. I was, I was once that kid and I remember being that kid. And for me, it was the Williams sisters seeing them play on TV against each other. And, um, you know, growing up, growing up and, uh, where they came from. And I'm like, well, similar, similar kind of situation. Why can't it be me? So, uh, I think that was kind of a light bulb moment for me. Yeah, his presence has just meant so much to the kids here. They were so hyped up to see him. And actually, Tiafo is going to be uh, at the University of Maryland tomorrow. He's friends with uh, Coach Loxley, so he'll be there watching tomorrow night's football game uh, against SMU, and he'll be honored there uh, at the game as well. Now, we had Tiafo with us here live at 5 o'clock, so sorry we couldn't repeat that magic here uh, at 6 o'clock. This is the best uh, that we could do. Multiple people have come by and tried to steal Francis away from us, uh, but we said uh, that wasn't going to happen uh, for this uh, for this live report. I also asked Francis uh, during our interview time when he was going to be back to practice. He said the grind actually gets underway uh, starting on Monday. Then he's going to be off to Europe for a couple of months to do tournaments, gearing up for his next Grand Slam event, the Australian Open in January. Back to y'all. Yeah, you've been talking a big foe in the flesh and uh, in the flesh. All right. Thanks. Yeah, we, we weren't going to let this moment pass us over. Yeah. I see you're both very excited about it.